Hi folks, I'm Jesse Muller, Blue Screen Computer, and I want to talk about Microsoft Office software. Um, some of you use LibreOffice or OpenOffice for free, but many people want or have to buy Microsoft Office for their computers. And there's good and bad ways and different ways to do that, so I'm just going to go over that real quick. Um, a lot of you will pay for Microsoft 365, and that is where you pay every year a recurring fee for your Office software. Um, you can just go right to office.com at any time and see this and purchase it for yourself. And um, it's always legitimate if you go straight to office.com. If you also search around on office.com or other Microsoft websites, you're going to find that you don't have to pay every year for your office software. You can still buy it outright with a one-time price. They don't call that Microsoft 365, they call that Microsoft Office 2021. And they have different editions. The Microsoft Office 2021 Home and Student Edition is $150 for the one-time price for one computer. And um, if you need something more than what that suite offers, there's Home and Business 2021 for $250, and then there's Office Professional 2021 for $440. That's if you're buying it directly from Microsoft, from the office.com website. Um, those prices get a little bit steep, so understandably, I see people looking at those prices and then going looking for sales. And so here's the legitimate and the fraudulent side of that. Um, you can find some legitimate price breaks at Costco, or maybe on Amazon. You might save, you might shave ten or twenty dollars off those types of prices. But watch out. There are people out there that will try to sell you these very expensive Microsoft Office suites for really low prices, and they are unreasonably low. And well, when something is too good to be true, it usually is. If someone is trying to sell you, say on eBay, uh, Microsoft Office Professional 2021, not for $440, but for $100, well, that is going to bite you somewhere sensitive. If you were to buy that super cheap software, it would work for a while. You would be able to install it and register it and use the license key they give you. And then a few months later, it would stop working um, because what that fraudulent seller is doing is they've somehow obtained or guessed or hacked a volume license key for that Microsoft Office and they've sold it hundreds and thousands of ways to different people. Not immediately, but eventually Microsoft will catch on that that key is being used too many times and then they'll shut it down. And when that day comes, your Microsoft Office that you've been enjoying for so many months will stop working. Your files won't be in danger, but you will be forced to go and repurchase a legitimate license key and you'll be figuring out that you, you got duped in the original transaction. So um, when it's too good to be true, watch out. Don't buy anything like that off of eBay. Um, you'll live to regret it. Um, there are legitimate ways to save a lot of money on Microsoft Office costs, but generally you have to be a nonprofit organization or a college student. And um, if you are either of those, uh, your nonprofit status may get you a membership with TechSoup or certain other software selling websites that will get you legitimate um, price cuts on that kind of thing. And if you're at a university, well, you should go to your help desk or um, faculty and ask them what they can do to help you with your Microsoft Office software. It'll either be very affordable or perhaps free. Depends on your school. All right. If there's any follow-up questions to any of this, if I skipped over anything important, or if you have questions, reach out to me, give me a call, uh, catch me on Facebook, shoot me an email. I'd be happy to advise. All right. Be safe out there, everybody. Take care.